things. Hey, man, we're, we're always going to be Penn State. Well, that's certainly something to be proud of. Yeah, great. Goofy old bastard. We're that's, that's always certainly... going to be raping boys. <laughs> We're always going to be Penn State, regardless of what happens to certain people. We're we're, we're Penn State. Regardless of what happens to certain people. (laughs) I'm proud of you. What What are you proud of? Complete turd. I'm proud of you. (laughs) Complete. I hope he's dead within a week. Seriously, that's when you hope. You know how you see the... The, the horrific scenes at one of those like Ukrainian air shows you see some some old bomber actually just go into the crowd and yeah that wasn't that was everybody well out. the one really it was in Reno though well, yeah it happens every once in a while that, yeah. that's what you're air, a yeah. boat show just yeah some crazy every once in a while uh, gets off the right, shore and right one of those just cigarette boats the go fast boat just goes in and just just everybody's like oh, that boat's coming a little too close whoa yeah, yeah I've that's... never I've never felt strongly one way or another about college football. But this has made me hate college football. <laughs> you know, no, seriously, I mean, like, if, if this was a, a professional football team and an assistant coach was involved in, in raping children, raping young boys, fans wouldn't go to the coach's house and, and chant that team's name, mm-hmm. chant his name. Correct. Maddie, it's just a symptomatic, which we've talked about before, of the sickness. That's why I consider, and, and this is the most we've talked about college football in years, and, and that's what it is. It, it's a sickness now. It, it it has grown to such mammoth proportions that that's all it can be classified as. You're the guy poisoning and, trees. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's just an absolute sickness that I don't. You know, we we talk our college football. We spend 15 minutes with Jerry a week, mm-hmm. and we're pretty much done. I may make fun of somebody. I enjoy sitting and get their ass kicked or something. But you know, I, I basically completely steer away from it because to me. The way it's been treated, the way the fans are, and the way everything—you just—you just heard a thousand of them in this idiot's lawn. This is this is still this is really more than it's probably worse than a guilty pleasure. I, I mean, I don't I don't want to talk about. I really don't. And you don't hear me much saying something unless there's really well, I mean, something it's, I enjoy. It is, Terry. It's like an it's like a, an addiction, a, a cult. I mean, when people are walking around in a, in a fog and they can't really get their thoughts together, when you hear a story of child molestation, yep. what what more do you need? That's why you got to read the grand jury report. I mean, how, you must how can you read not get all twenty three pages. How can you walk around in a day? I don't care what your affiliation is. To the program, if you went there, if your father went there, if your grandfather went there, if your grandfather's grandfather went there, how, how, what what do you need to get your thoughts together about this? We're just walking around. We don't know what to think. Really? What, what, what don't you have to think? We don't know. A no, guy was know. anally raping a young boy. What over you need and to get over your thoughts and over again about? and multiple victims. Yep. We don't know. We're not sure. We, and we, they knew about it. They didn't do anything about it. No, it's it's. But you know what? Very... But we're going to start praying though for these kids now that got involved in this stuff. Now you're praying. You could have picked Allegedly. up the phone. Yeah, now, you, know, and, you know, regardless of what happens to some people, we'll still be Penn State. I'm devastated. And I'm going to give the rest of my life to making the university, you know, proud. I'm devastated. Hopefully it's like six know. or seven days. <laughs> we'll beat Nebraska. Swift and decisive. Yep. At our regular meeting. We'll put it like fourth or fifth on the agenda after we talk about some budgeting issues. <sighs> yeah, I, it is really, it's, it's, it's been going this way for several years, and we've talked about it. That's why I can't, you know, and, and now you've got a classic example of this. You see how deep this runs, even with, with kids who, I, I mean, it, it's just an absolute sickness that, that should be obliterated. But, I look, I, I have this, I, 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 I do watch the games, but I don't talk about them. We're Boers and Bernstein, WSCR You'll the see. score. Oh, don't do this. No, quiet! Remember, we're always going to be Penn State, regardless of what happens to certain people. We're we're, we're Penn State. I'm proud of you, folks. I'm proud of you. I've always been proud of you. We're proud of you! Hey, let's all just... See that football team on Saturday, all right? And beat Nebraska. Yeah! You know, we had... There's been some criticism of the way we've handled some of the poor victims. You know, my wife and I, we have 17 grandkids. 
from 16 to 3. And we pray for them every night. But we're going to start praying for those kids that got, got involved with some of the problems that we talked about. Oh. That got involved. Kids that got involved. You know, a real man would have said, this isn't the time for chants and, and crowds right. in That's front of my exactly house. That's exactly right. It's a sad time for a lot of people. It's exactly right. You need right. to take your ass off of my lawn, and we'll, we'll worry about things and we have to worry about Instead, at this point Instead, what did in he do? Ate it up. Loved every minute of it. Ate it up. Seriously, napalm. 84-year-old ego. Napalm. That is a, that is a perfect time for Maddie, it's jelly never stopped. gasoline burning the everyone's skin off. Victims who got themselves involved. Never stop yep, from those, the first those, time I ran across Those victims it. that got themselves involved in that whole second mile I mean, thing. Talk about football and bring up Nebraska. Seriously? I, I, my, I, I'm telling you, I went to bed angry. I woke up angry. I saw that last night, and I've been, I've been seething about it. Yeah, I, I, for a guy who's uh, devastated, then to beat Nebraska? Seriously? How devastated are you? Yeah, you're eating it up. You're I mean, loving it. You're loving your lawn covered with the idiots. Yeah. There's been some criticism of the way we've handled some of the poor victims. I, you know, we, my wife and I, we have 17 grandkids oh, from God. 16 to 3. And we pray for them every night. We're going to start praying for those kids that got, got involved with some of the problems that we talked about. Got involved with the, some of the these, problems? These, got involved? Yeah, these, they sign up for it? These stupid kids should, just shouldn't have gotten yeah. themselves involved in these problems. Uh, what did you sign that form? So they went home to form to the parents? Yep. That's all. Just cheat that football team on Saturday. All right? And beat Nebraska. Yep. See what I mean? No, beat you. Repeatedly.